<laughs> Weird light. Oh, that's even weirder. I'm scared. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish if we haven't met, and if we have met, you're probably a subscriber and part of my tribe. Hi, welcome. If you want to be part of the tribe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little notifications bell. And also if you want to follow along on Facebook or Instagram, you can find those links in the description box. If you're in the US, you'll know that yesterday was Father's Day, but we had our entire family here, well, entire family, all of our kids plus partners and their kids and granddaughter at the house on Saturday for the day for a pool party and it was awesome. I actually did get a little burnt and I think that's just payment for me being like, no, I'm a lot outside a lot and I'm so careful. I got a little bit sunburned, but it's not bad. And I also have 60 million mosquito bites. They love me apparently to mosquitoes. I'm delicious. I don't know what to say about that, but it's the truth. Like I have bites everywhere. I'm gonna finish those dish towels I wove and this is part of a series so if this is the first video that you're seeing you might want to go back and watch the whole thing this is the fourth part in the series please make sure you watch the whole thing because i really want to know what everyone's favorite weft color is and we're going to finish these dish towels i'll show you at the end what they look like completely finished and give you the finished dimensions after washing and drying and the whole deal it has been my experience they shrink a teensy teensy bit more in the wash like the second and third time and then that's it let's go it's time to finish and i'm still in my pajamas we're gonna try and keep my pajamas out of this though so you can do this with scissors you can cut your towels apart with scissors i like to use a rotary cutter i just like it with a metal yardstick or straight edge and I'm literally just gonna cut them apart at the color changes I wove them 23 inches long they're 20 inches wide and I change colors at every 23 inches so I'm just gonna cut them at a color change and I'm not gonna get too wrapped up about them being perfectly straight across the color change because they're gonna get hemmed so the very end of the fabric will be like inside rolled inside the hems I love how these turned out. They turned out so cute. And they're all wrinkly right now, but don't worry about it. So again, I'm just gonna lay this down really close to that color change. It does not have to be perfect. This kind of, I'm trying to really fight with my perfectionist tendencies. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so this one is cut at the top. I'm gonna cut it at the bottom. There's waste yarn in here, you can see. Each one of these has a, a different colored weft background. I feel like when I do that, it really helps me see how the different color combinations look together and it gives me, it always gives me ideas like for colors to combine on the next batch. So that's pretty fun. Plus they're all coordinating, but they're all different and I really like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold this for now in half and half again and move it to the side.
Okay, pardon my ironing board. It is gross. I put my iron on the cotton setting. So there's different schools of thought on this. Some people like to wash them and then hem them, but you can't do that this way. You must hem them before you wash them. I like that better anyway. I'm gonna hem, do a double hem on this or a double rolled hem. So I'm gonna try and roll probably, I don't know, a little less than a half inch, three eighths of an inch maybe. All the way across. Just take your time, get it right, get it nice and straight. You'll be glad you did. All right, and then I just take it and roll it up one more time, about the same 3 eighths of an inch. And do not pull. You can see I'm letting go and then grabbing another spot a little ways down. Don't pull this because especially before you um, wash your weaving, it's not as stable as you might want it to be and it will like stretch on the edge and you don't want that. And just because these were all wrinkled and it made me sad. All right, so I'm gonna pull you in close so you can really see what I did. Okay, my machine's all threaded with white. I have the needle pushed all the way over to the left. You can adjust it with your needle position um, dial. And I'm gonna run it so that the edge of my folded over hem goes right up against the edge of the foot. If you feel more comfortable, you can always also pin or, I do like to use these little clips when I do this. But I feel fine with just the fold, the ironed in folds. My stitch length is at two. I like it a little shorter, but you should just do whatever makes you feel comfortable. And um, I have it on straight stitch. And that is one hem all the way sewn. Doesn't that look beautiful?
Okay, so these are all really close to the exact same size, so I'm gonna quick measure them so I can tell you how much shrinkage happens during the, the washing process. So, right now this is 23 and a half. Long by just over 18 wide. So I'm gonna go throw these in the wash and then we'll measure them after they're dry. Okay, so I know you saw them in the thumbnail, but usually the thumbnail is like super tiny. So I'm gonna show you these. Again, these are coordinating, but they are not exactly matching. All the wefts are different. Honestly, if you want all the specs on everything, you kind of have to go back through because I cannot remember. I can remember the specs, but when I'm filming, if I don't make notes, then I forget something inevitably. So go back to the beginning, watch the whole thing, you'll get all the specs. Also, somebody asked me, and I'm sorry I can't remember who it was, if I would post my pattern. I didn't really use a pattern. As you guys know, it's really more of like a formula. And um, I do have the schematic, but it's made by hand. I'm not sure if that's anything anyone would want or if I need to like translate it into Excel maybe as a, um, like as a grid let me think about it a little bit if I release it I'll let you guys know in the waffle weave video that's gonna come up in three weeks to a month so we'll talk about that later but here's the finished towels these are the coral the green the purple the white and the gray I have to say that I think my favorite Is probably the white which is kind of lame but I think it's probably the white I also really like the coral a lot I'm gonna show you all these I would love to hear what your favorite is this is the coral this is the gray the purple I really do like the purple too I really like them all the white and then this is the turquoise I gave you the pre-washing or pre, I don't know if you'd really call it finishing because finishing is a longer process, but I did give you the pre-wash dimensions. So the finished dimensions, wait, let me move these. 21 inches by 17. So that's my finished size and that is perfect because actually what I'm going for is 20 by 16. That's like the goal in my head. These will shrink a teeny bit more over the next two washes and they're going to be right in the, the, as far as I'm concerned, that's really right in the zone I was trying to get to in the first place. So I'm in good shape. I hope you guys like that size too, but really size is just a personal preference. So 16 by 20 is what I was shooting for and I came pretty close and I like I said these will shrink a little more. Aren't they cute? This is the purple again. All right so I do want to talk about these. You guys so when we opened up our camper I found out that I already had like four towels from the last set in the camper that only barely got used last summer and so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these but I I really want to list them on eBay. I know that's crazy because no one's ever going to pay anything like what you would hope to get for the amount of work that is in them, but I've always been afraid to put anything that I made out in like the real world for sale because I think there is a part of me that is like, if no one buys it, then it's not good. and. I do understand that especially when you make something utilitarian people don't see it as art and I totally get that but part of me is like you started this channel and you were so scared which I was and over time it got easier and not as scary and that's largely due to you guys and maybe I should just do it maybe I should just like be scared but still do it just because the rest of the world might not see value in a hand-woven dish towel doesn't really take any of the value away. I'm scared. Okay, you guys. I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.